Hey guys, my name is Bob and welcome to the Excel Math channel and today this video is all about just very simple basic integration questions uh, some uh, techniques in which uh, you can actually uh, go about you know, helping you to solve you know, the problems and such so let me just go through you know, some of the uh, very basic integration questions which will help you to solve um, 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 you know, all those uh, integrations uh, stuff all right, so let's say for example for the first question we have uh, to integrate all right 2x plus 4 dx so the first thing I would do is to actually split this term up all right into two different terms so there will be the integration of 2x dx plus integration of 4 dx and do remember that if you were to integrate okay or use an indefinite integral and that will result all right uh, in that you need to uh, do a plus C behind right after that so that is plus a constant right if you were to integrate uh, using indefinite integrals and the integration of 2x so first thing first sorry for this first term itself 2x all right so after we integrate 2x is actually um, we have to simply add you know the plus 1 right to the power itself so that will be 2x um, square because this is x to the power 1 and we plus 1 it becomes x squared at the same time we have to divide by the power so that will be divided by 2 all right so these two represents from the power itself um, and for this one itself uh, integration of a constant will just um, add an x behind all right and then plus a c so what we will get okay for this question is we just need to cancel the terms you will get x squared plus 4x plus C. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, second question itself. This will involve integration of x to the power of half um, plus maybe about you know four x cubed plus uh, dx. All right, we do not need to add another one. All right, so how do we go about solving this question? Uh, it's the same thing we split this uh, whole bracket out into two different terms that will be equals to integration of x to the power half dx plus the integration of 4x cubed uh, dx so the next thing we will do is that okay same thing first because uh, this one deals with power so x to the power half when we integrate x to the power half is just simply add plus add one all right to the power all right, you add one to the power and at the same time we divide by the total power so that will be half plus one okay uh, for this one is the first thing first we shift the constant up to the uh, left hand side of the integral sign so that will be four uh, integral x cubed dx and after that we proceed to do the sort of like the uh, integration right for the f second term so you know that we, when we do it with the power itself we have to plus one oops this integral is supposed to, not supposed to be there and okay so basically what we do is that we have to add one all right to the power itself at the same time we have to divide um, by the total number of powers here which is three plus one and then we have to plus a constant so every time we do a indefinite integral integration all right that doesn't you know involves with uh, values all right such as you know from value range right from zero to two if you do not do this all right we have to plus a constant all right and this is equals to uh, x3 to the power to 3 over 2 over um, 3 over 2 plus 4 um, x to the power of 4 over 4 plus c so we can do the cancellation down here and we flip this up to read to the numerator so anything divided by um, for this one it divides by 3 over 2 it becomes 2 over 3 x to the power of 3 over 2 plus x to the power of 4 plus c all right so this is uh, another kind of problems that we have one more uh, examples for you I mean for for this uh, integration so imagine all right if you were to integrate uh, 1 over x you know 
plus 2 dx. This one is a bit special, right? So as long as, okay, if you were to um, deal with this, right? First thing first, I would, you know, convert it, you know, into sort of like an indices. So in this case, if it is, you know, uh, x plus 2 to the power of negative 1 dx, right? So you have to remember this, any um, terms or, or, or any equations that has a power of ne negative 1 when you integrate it, okay, you will actually get back ln. So in, for this example itself, you actually get back ln um, modulus x plus 2 uh, plus c. So this is actually the answer itself. So uh, here is a small little trick down here. As long as the power itself is negative 1, when you integrate back, it's actually equals to just ln itself. Right. So there is this absolute sign here. So why is there an absolute sign here? Is because this whole chunk has to be positive, all right, uh, in order you know for you to evaluate ln, all right. So this whole thing down here has to be positive in order for us to be able to calculate okay the ln. So if this this is negative, you will not be able to calculate ln. So that's why this absolute sign here it's uh, pretty important, all right. So that's about it for today and this is uh, some of the uh, questions on basic integrations. So always remember, okay, when it comes to basic integrations, you have an indefinite integral. Make sure, all right, that uh, you actually plus a constant behind, okay, um, you know, for every integration question. This is very important. I'm Bob signing off from here. If you guys have any comments with regards to uh, the question itself, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next episode.